Hi, welcome to hell. I'm your host, Amanda. Today we're going to be screaming and burning in the flames for eternity to pay for our sins. If you ended up here, that means that you probably made some bad decisions in your life. And unfortunately, now I'm going to subject you to me ranking Neopets. That's right. We're going all the way back, baby, to two hours ago when I was on Neopets.com feeding my Neopets because Neopets is still a thing. I know you can't believe it. I can't either, but it actually still is a thing. It's better than ever. In fact, it's booming. It's bustling. It's just everything's great over there. Kind of a little bit. It's getting better. They're working on it. I have lots of videos about all that. It's in a state. It's in a state. You may have given up on your Neopets years ago to get a life, and that's great, but some of us didn't. And those of us who didn't are still here and we have opinions. I am one of those people. What is this intro? Oh my God. Um, I'm gonna rank the Neopets. I'm gonna do a tier list of Neopets. How about, should I have just said that initially? Yeah, some of us are still playing Neopets. In fact, like I said, it is actually starting to get to a place where it's playable and fun again. So don't feel bad for those of us who are still playing Neopets because we're actually living. We're having a great time over there. The Neopets are more or less the same. There might be one or two Neopets that are new-ish that older players might not recognize, but for the most part, not a lot has changed. And if you are an old player of Neopets, you'll probably recognize a lot of these faces that I'm about to roast, probably most of them. Actually, I think I like a lot of Neopets. I don't know. I was, you know, cause I'm, this is far from the first Neopets ranking video that anybody's ever done. I'll link a whole bunch down in the description because I, again, there are so many Neopets ranking videos out there. They're all great. This is probably not going to be one of them. I, I just feel like I have a lot of, I don't know. I don't know. They might end up being basic or I just don't know. I don't know how I, I think I'm about to find out how I feel about a lot of Neopets. I do know how I feel about some, but others I need to I need to talk it out because I don't know actually I'm like looking at them now and I'm just trying to think like how do I feel I guess we'll find out let's go do it let's go to the list and rank them. All right, let's get ranking. I'm all the way down here now. Now there's no hope, no chance whatsoever of anybody noticing that I have a blue eyes white dragon shirt on. Just really thought that was cool and wanted to give it like a, a time in the spotlight, but the microphone's in the way and now I'm all the way down here, but whatever. So let's get ranking. I think they're in alphabetical order. I was going to do like cute little tier names because I love doing that. It's so fun. It's so creative. It's like an outlet for me, but something about this tier list, I was just like, you know what? I think I just need to do the basic like S, A, B, C, D, F thing. I think I'm gonna make this more difficult than it has to be already. So I was just like, why don't we just do the normal thing? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Starting off with the Akara. You know what? You know what? I actually love the Akara so much. I really do. I think that they're beautiful. But with that being said, there are a lot of Akaras that I actually have like so much beef with. Like there's a surprising amount of Akaras that I fucking hate. One being Princess Fernie Poo. Bitch, I am still looking for you to this day. One of us has got to go. I am so done with her. Elon Hewless is another one that I have so much beef with. This is the captain of the Moroccan UU ball team. And he is, for lack of better words, a fucking problem. He's a big old problem. He's like a man problem that I have. He's just a piece of shit. Watch this video. I'll tell you all about it in that video. I'm not gonna go over it again. He's like the worst type of person, just totally the worst. He's so selfish. He's like a diva in the worst way. He's not a good team player, okay? Another Akara that I have so much much beef with is Masila, who is uh, was a part of the Thieves Guild. I don't want to get into it right now because there's a lot there that you will learn about in the lore video if you don't already know about Masila. But just to kind of give you the, the too long didn't read, she's Canrick's ex-girlfriend. And she is one of the most, I mean, I have to give the girl credit actually because she is such a bitch and she's such a calculating, conniving, evil, evil bitch. Like she's such an evil bitch, but she does it in a way that like, I can't even really respect it that much, you know? Oh, so petty, so crazy, so evil, but like, it's not fun anymore. It stopped being fun a long time ago. She was fun for like a couple seconds and then she got, she went way too far with it, way too fast. So Masila, I do have some beef with you as well, girly girl. But then there's, you know, like Vera is an Akara and I love Vera. She's another evil, evil bitch and she does it right. Masila, take notes. Like she does it right. They they really do the Akaras. Like they, they like, they do their characters. I mean, for better or worse, they like, they like put their whole asses into Akaras when they make their characters. And honestly, like as much as I hate Princess Fernie Poo and hate Elon Hewless and hate Masila, I love to see like a 
a character that actually is like kind of three dimensional in Neopets because sometimes they'll throw out a character and they'll be like, this is this character, but then there won't really be anything there. But for whatever reason, they actually go pretty hard with the Akaras a lot of the time. And there's only a few species that they do that consistently with. The Akara is one of them. I like hate them and love them. I think B is a good place to put them for now because there's a lot of really cute Akara colors. I think that they're a beautiful pet. Genuinely have no complaints about their design or anything like that. I love them actually. Yeah, they can sit in B. I might even move them up, but for now, that's I think that's a good spot. Hi, sorry, I had to take the hat off because I just decided it was killing me. Like sensory wise, all of a sudden I'll just like touch my face wrong and I'll be like, ah! So yeah, no more fun hats here, over here. The fun is over because we're here at the Aisha. Actually, the fun has just begun because this is one of my favorite pets, probably top three easily. I mean, who doesn't love the Aisha? I think the thing with the thing with the Aisha is that this is like a universally agreed upon thing. We never agree on anything. Do we ever agree on anything like as a collective species? No, but I think most people agree that the Aisha is just like the quintessential Neopet. Like when you think of a Neopet, you think of like, I feel like there's a couple Neopets you think of. I think it's the Aisha and the Kachik are like the two that you think about. Is that, is, am I wrong? Like, I really think that th those are like the quintessential Neopets that just like the Normie, maybe even the Scorchio, but like the Aisha is just like Neopets, like Mickey Mouse, in my opinion, honestly. I love them. They're like an alien cat. They're so customizable. I love customizing Aishas. I think that's like the best pet to customize. Them and Usuls are so much fun to customize and that's a big deal. And um, I love all their colors that they come in other than fairy. I think fairy is such a misstep. Why is the fairy like that? Don't get me started. I don't want to get into like the colors thing because that puts a whole new spin on it. Even though I do know that some of the colors that these guys come in are going to influence my decision on them. But like the fairy Aisha is so shitty, right? <laughs> so shitty. But I mean, all the other Aisha colors are amazing. I love the Aisha. And then they're the only one that comes in alien. That's an S tier Neopat, you guys. Blue Maroo. You know what? I've always loved Bloomeroos. I've always loved them because of their like role in Neopia. You know, I've just always like seen them as as just doing their part and like staying in their lane and like bothering no one. You know, even like the vampire Bloomeroo, Count Von Roo, he's not even that bad. Like he'll take, actually he's pretty bad. He's taken like my level before and that pisses me off actually. I mean, I was the one who disturbed him, but like, you know, there's a vampire Bloomeroo and it's like, you know what you're getting into. And it's the same with um, Diceroo. That's actually a really annoying game. But you know, you know what you're getting into with bloomers. And I love the like old design of the bloomers. I hate, <laughs> I am not alone. I think everybody hates the like, the fucking fists that we got with the conversion of all these pets that are suddenly like, <laughs> they're just like, <laughs> Ooh, gotta hate the fists. Um, I mean, so many pets have been totally ruined by these fists. Bloomeroos are no exception, but the old ones, when they were on their tail, like nothing in the world beats that. Like when they're bouncing on their tail, like, come on, that's what the bloomeroos do. You took that away. I love the jelly game where you're in the lava. What is that called? Like jelly bounce, lava bounce or something where you're like in the lava and the bloomer is bouncing on his tail. So cute. And then there's like Rue Island where there's like, they all live there and stuff. I love the bloomeroos. I love their vibe. I think that, I mean, I don't love them that much, do I? Mm, oh my God. I think, cause that's the thing. I love the bloomeroos vibe, but like, I don't have any bloomeroos and I'm like, okay with that. I don't think I ever want any bloomeroos. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put them in C. I think that's very generous of me actually to do, to put them in C. That's fine. That's totally fine. Couldn't ask for more. In fact, Boris. I love them. I love the Bori. I think I love the Bori so much because A, they're an adorable pet. They're so cute. I love their big ears. They're like an armadillo guy, but I also am so endeared to them through Hannah and the Ice Caves. And I think a lot of us who were playing the game at that time when that plot rolled out, I think a couple things happened. I think 90% of us all found out that we are uh, furries during that plot. And if you want to keep denying it, you can, <laughs> but I urge you to 
just look at some of the characters and just tell me, do you, you feel nothing when you look at these pictures? You feel nothing? But another thing that I loved about this plot was that it introduced the Boris as like the new species. I'll never forget that. That was like, to my knowledge, I think when I was playing the game, that was like the first time that I had a new Neopet species rollout, like that I saw rollout. Because I started playing like right after Dr. Sloth and like all the Grundos came and stuff. But I remember Neopets without the Boris. And then I remember when they first came out and it was like, oh my God, they're so cute. I love them. Armin, little Armin. Like we saw Armin first and Armin's like the little guy that we got first. And he was like a little baby and he's so cute. I will forever have like a special thing in my heart for Boris, but I also just think that they're beautiful, beautiful pets. I think that they're an A tier Neopet, you guys. I really do. I love everything about this Neopet. The Bruce, however, I think that this Neopet never needed to exist. I think that this Neopet isn't supposed to exist. Honestly, I know that they're just like a little penguin, but there is something so dark about this Neopet to me. <laughs> I mean, I think most of us know that this is how the Bruce started out. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? Yeah, apparently it was like, that's just some guy named Bruce Forsyth, who's like a, I don't know, I don't care actually, but it's just some guy. That's the thing. Like, that's the thing I want to stress is that it started out as some guy and then they were like, oh, we can't do that. Why would you want to own some guy as a pet? We should probably make it into a penguin, you know, because he's wearing a tuxedo, like, I guess. I don't know. So that's like where Br the Bruce came from. So I already have like a bad vibe regarding that. But the thing with the Bruce, so I, 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 I love a penguin. I love penguins. Are you kidding? me, I worked with penguins for years. I mashed up little shrimps and I fed penguins with my bare hands. They're lovely creatures. They really are. They will get you. They can karate chop really hard and they can, they can peck really hard, really hard. They can bite. I mean, they bite really hard actually, <laughs> but um, good for them. Honestly, that's how I feel about that. I think they're amazing. I love penguins. My favorite species of penguin is probably, actually I can't choose. I have so many. I love Galapagos penguins. I love African penguins. That's the species I worked with the most. And I love Jintu penguins and I love Chinstrap penguins. I love Adelie penguins. I love all of the Antarctic species of penguins actually. The emperor penguins and the king penguins, obviously, I love them. I love the crested penguins. I worked with rockhopper penguins too, southern rockhoppers. But here I am talking about penguins, sorry. Anyway, all that to say, I fucking hate the penguin neopet. Listen, no, because I've seen some colors lately of the penguin neopet that are scary. <laughs> It's like my only reason. And I know I said I wasn't gonna bring the colors into it, but actually I think I am gonna bring the colors into it because look at the Tyranian Bruce. What? And I know it's based on like some kind of a ancient bird that I'm supposed to know about. I should probably, like I have like a, dis a distant memory. I must've learned about that in school, but I don't, I can't, I don't know. It makes me forget everything I've ever known when I see that. What is that? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> is it gone? <laughs> and then today, just today I saw for the first time the robot Bruce. I hate the robot Neopets. I hate them. Can we make them go away? Can we just make it so that th that isn't a thing anymore? I hate them, but I especially hate the robot Bruce. That thing sucks. Look at that thing. What is that? Stop. I hate it. Make it go away. I hate it. It's enough. That's enough. I don't like the Bruce. I think for those reasons, I the D. D, I'll never own a Bruce. Speaking of like, I'll never own you and I hate you. I hate to be this person because I love bugs. That's the thing. I love bugs. I love bugs. I I love all bugs so much. I love every bug. Bugs are so fascinating. I keep like pet bugs and stuff, mantids, and I love spiders. I keep tarantulas. I've had jumping spiders. I love bugs. What the fuck is this? What even bug is that? Like, is it a dragonfly? But it's like not. Like, what is what is it? And the thing is, like, I got I got a pet the other day in in the trading circuit, and his name is Crawlers. And I was like, I love that name, Crawlers. Like, that's such a great name, and it would be so cool for like a bug a bug. So I went and I looked at all the buzzes and I was like, you know what? I'm done being a buzz hater. I'm going to find a buzz that I love and I'm going to make crawlers into a buzz and I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to open my heart to a buzz and like love a buzz. I tried. There's nothing. The baby buzz is so cute. It's like a little guy, a little grub. I do love the baby buzz. Baby buzz is beautiful, cute, adorable. That's it. That's all, that's all we got. Like they just do no favors. It's sad, it really is. Like I want so badly to pull up for our only bug besides the Rookie. And like the Rookie, that's the only other bug we have. <laughs> this is why we need a spider Pokemon. 
Did I just say Pokemon? You know what? Something about the Chia. Like, I hate you, bitch. Look at you. You're a mess. You're like such a frumpy ass mess. You're just like, what? What What are you? Like, no, seriously. That's like a serious question. Like, what are you supposed to be? What exactly are you supposed to be? Like, it's just really, truly like a little guy like walking around and he's like a like an oval with legs and hair. And that's baffling to me. But somehow, some way, I kind of honestly, like the more I see Chia, and the more I want to beat their ass every time I see them, the more I like them. It's kind of like me with Nose Pass, the Pokemon, where every time I would see Nose Pass, I would like, like I hated Nose Pass, but then every time I saw a Nose Pass, I liked them more. I feel it. I feel like that with Chia's, I'll never own one. I will never own. Get that thing away from me. I don't want it. That's not what I said. I just said that I don't hate them as much as I thought I did, I think. And obviously, like everybody, when it comes to the vegetable Chia's, the pea Chia's, the, the grape Chia, the asparagus Chia even, all of the like fruit and vegetable Chia's, we all love you. We love you so much. That's like the redeeming quality of the Chia is that they get that. Like that, that was smart of them to give that to the Chia and only the Chia. But something about the Chia, like that's so, it's so weird to me. It's almost like so, like, I can't, I don't have words for this feeling actually. It's like comfortingly horrible. Like it's somehow like just so cringe looking that I love it. It's like kind of a meme. The Chia is a meme. I think that's the only way I can describe it. I hate to even say that, but that's how I feel. Like the name Chia is so stupid and weird. And it's like so embarrassing to have to tell like people who don't know about Neopets, like that's a Chia. Like, of course it is. That that would be what that thing was called, a chia, you know? And then it's just ugly and like stupid, but I love it, I think. I don't know, I think I love it actually. I think I kind of love chias. I think for like, just for for like right now, I think I'm gonna put chia in C. I kind of love you, bitch. Um, The chombi, for the longest time, especially when I was a kid, I called them chompies, like just straight up a chompy, you know? Um, So saying chombi still to this day is kind of weird because it feels wrong. It feels like it shouldn't be that. With that being said, I love the baby Chompy. They're really cute. Um, that's about it, honestly. <laughs> no, the Dargan Chompy is kind of cool. The whole thing with the Tyranian Chompy, come on. They were about to win one and then they like took it away. It's fine. No, it's not fine. It'll never be fine. What else do I like about the Chompy? I don't know. It's like, it's baffling to me because it's like what? Like an Apatosaurus, but it's a Stegosaurus or something. I don't know. It's like our dinosaur guy, our resident dinosaur guy. And he's like limited edition. So we love him, but he's kind of stupid too. He's kind of stupid. And some of the colors, like that's the thing with the chompy, right? Some of the colors are so irresponsible with that with that guy, with that dinosaur. The mutant chompy. The mutant chompy, you guys. Make it stop, make it stop. Just make it go away. I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah. The chompy for that alone, I don't know. I think D. I don't like you that much. I don't want a chompy. I just, it's not even the mutant thing. I just don't care. I, I don't care. You're fine. I don't know. Cy Bunny is immediate S tier. I don't care. I mean, I know it's just like literally a rabbit and like they suck to cut. Customize. I know I've like tried it with several side bunnies. Like I want a side bunny. I had a fairy side bunny. I've had like a royal side bunny, a white side bunny, a plush, a plushy side bunny. I like can't customize this bitch, but I still love you. I still stand her. I think that's like one of the most beautiful pets ever. I love rabbits. I'm, I'm like a rabbit person. I like love rabbits. I have a rabbit. I've always had rabbits my whole life. I love rabbits and I love this rabbit. I think she's beautiful. And my dream, one of my dreamies, like one of my ultimate dreamies is a unconverted royal girl Cy Bunny because she is the moment. She's just the most gorgeous, beautiful thing that's ever walked the earth. Still to this day, I just think it doesn't get any better than that, honestly, in terms of like a, a, an unconverted pet. Ever since I was little, I've like looked at her and I've just thought like, that's everything. She's everything, you know? And I've never wavered from that position. I've always felt that way. I feel that way about the Drake too. Ever since I was little, I guess it's, it's I think it's something that comes with being from that time where Drake was like completely and utterly like out of the realm of possibility for anyone unless you found a way to somehow make Neo points. Like <laughs> as a kid, I don't know. When I was little, I just couldn't figure it out. I could never figure out how to make any fucking Neo points. I still played the game, you know? I got pretty lucky in the pound. I got some I got some good pets and and eventually I found a way to make some Neo points, but never enough. Like I got I got enough to get some good pets for sure. I was painting pets and I was like adopting pets and stuff. And I had some good pets back in the day when I was when I was a kid, but I never had enough to get a Drake. Never. A Drake was like, if you saw someone with a Drake, you were like, you would, you just like, 
you just pay your respects to them as they walk by. You put your head down. It's just something. It was just such a huge status symbol. And um, they were the best pet, you know, and they were like so inaccessible for a reason, but like they were just this dragon, this beautiful, gorgeous dragon. I feel like when everybody started on Neopets back in the day, you know, we'd go, cause like they used to show you all the pets, even if they were inaccessible, like even if you couldn't create them, they would even show you the Drake. And so when I first started, I was like, oh my God, I want that one right there, the baby dragon. I want that. And then I found out quickly that I would never in my life have that baby dragon <laughs> ever. But nowadays they're a lot more common, but I think all of us who know the struggle of, of like feeling like we would never have a Drake. I think, I think we still have that regard for them where we just can't even believe that we have one or that we have so much access to them. Like I have like at least two Drakes. I have Echo and Reupholstered. I think that's it. But like, I've had so many, I have like Drakes on my sides that are trading fodder. Like I have so many Drakes. I've had so many Drakes. I will have so many Drakes. I can get a Drake right now. It's crazy that they are more accessible than ever. Um, but they, they, they'll just always, I think that that's an S tier pet. That's an S tier Neo pet. I don't care. They will always be beautiful. They're just like the perfect, beautiful, gorgeous little dragon. And I love them so much. So like, what is going on with this, with this Neopet? The is it just the elephant? Do I say elephant? Is it elephant? What the hell is going on with this? Why did Neopets do this? And why did we allow it? It's just, yeah, like an elephant guy. He's got wings. He's just an elephant. I love a good elephant. I really do. But this is different. There's something just bad. I hate this pet. I've always hated this pet. I'm sorry. There's no, and like, that's the thing. I try to look for like a, a good one, a decent one in terms of like the colors that you can paint them. No, I see nothing. And I know that that's like such a popular opinion. Like nobody likes these, but there's a reason. Like, I just don't like them. If you like them, then I respect you a lot. Like if you can f do something with these guys, if you find a way to do something with them, good for you. The Eerie, that's another one that I just shoot them right up to S. And I, I know it starts with Lord Cass for me. That's like the moment that I realized. But I think even, honestly, I have a memory of of like one of my first ever Neopets accounts before I even like took it seriously. You know, like I think that was like the first Neopet I ever created. Eerie is just a beautiful pet. Every way that you can paint them is beautiful. Every character that's ever been in Eerie is beautiful. They're like just this beautiful regal griffin pet. And I love them. I love everything about them. I don't think there's ever been a single thing that the Eerie has ever done wrong. I can't even think of it an instance where they've they've not been perfect. I love them. I think they're absolutely an S tier pet. The flotsam is great but boring. There are a few flotsam colors that are magnificent. The royal, both the boy and the girl flotsam, I think are gorgeous. The Halloween flotsam, one of my favorite pet colors of all time. Yeah, I think the Flotsam's actually so beautiful. I love them, but they're just a little boring to me, I think. I'll put them in C for now. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> As much as I love roasting poor defenseless Neopets, I want to take a quick break to talk to you about the sponsor for today's video, Persona 5 Tactica. This is an exciting new turn-based strategy RPG adventure based in the iconic Persona universe that you know and love, where you get to join the Phantom Thieves as they assemble a team of heroes to lead a revolution. You know I love getting out there and overthrowing oppressive forces, and that's exactly what you get to do. Destroy your oppressive and very powerful new enemies by summoning Persona coordinating attacks with your party of allies, and utilizing an awesome array of weapons for every combat style. Persona 5 Tactica offers a brand new story featuring the beloved fan favorite characters. You get to go on another adventure with them, as well as new allies and foes alike. And it's out now on Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, Windows PC, PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. Thank you so much to Atlas for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the ranking. I have lots of beef left to go over. Yep, that's right. I'm back with my third outfit change, kind of. I mean, if you can consider a, taking a hat off an outfit change, then here I am really serving world tour because I got cold. And so I went and got my Neopets hoodie. The zipper is a paintbrush. You'll never see it. I'm simply too tiny, but look, like it's a paintbrush. I wanted to make sure that I was not cold when I talked about the hottest Neopet. <laughs> Like, I wanna go to jail. I think I deserve it. I wanna turn, I'm turning myself in. Hi, how do you turn yourself in, Google? How do you turn yourself in if you committed a crime? Cause I just called a Neopet hot and I'll do it again. I'm not calling this Gellert hot. Like I'm calling other Gellerts hot. Like the, the anthropomorphic Gellerts that they put in the plots. That 
That's Tandrick Shea. He's hot, okay? He plays professional sports. He's a really nice guy too. And then there's Canrick. I mean, am I wrong? Can someone out there who's like a normal person just tell me like, yeah, they're drawn hot. I get it. Please, cause I'm sick of this. <laughs> Like, I'm sick of feeling like I'm being so out of pocket for saying that Neopets are hot, but I think they are hot. I think they're hot and they're only getting hotter. My two vampire Gellerts, like, they're hot, you know? Yeah, Gellerts are the best pet. Gellerts are 100,000% my favorite. I feel like Loops should be my favorite because I'm a furry, I guess. Like, <laughs> I don't know, like the wolf. No, like, I've always loved Loops. I've always loved, like, wolves as a fucking weird, weird girl. You know exactly. You guys know exactly what type of kid I was growing up just out in the fields oh <laughs> with my friends you know in a wolf pack of course of course I was in a wolf pack in fifth grade of course yeah and a horse I was a horse too I was also a horse and now here I am with a YouTube channel and you're like watching me and stuff should I take my hood off is this weird somehow I managed to succeed in life it's really crazy it's weird it's crazy but yeah I love Gellerts I think they're definitely my favorite pet just they can't do anything wrong I don't think of, I don't think there's this actually there is a single Gellert color that I don't like Gellert color yeah, there's a couple that I hate actually, but for the most part, I think most of them are great. I love the baby Geller, Dargan Geller. Just great. Love you, bitch. What do I not like that's a Geller? You know what I don't like is the, um, I'm not seeing anything. I love them all. Oh, the Tyranian Geller. That's the one. Get it away from me. What? Are, how dare you? You know why they did that? This is my theory. The reason they made the Tyranian Gillard look like that was because they were like sick of them being hot as a Neopet. Like they were sick and tired of them being like the hottest Neopet by a, by a country mile, by like a long shot. So they made them a little ugly. Like they wanted to knock them down a few pegs. I get it. Like if I had a, like a Neopets fursona, I would so be a Giller. like a hundred percent. I would a hundred percent be a, be a Giller. actually a thousand percent. Like if I had to, if like I had to for like the government, <laughs> Why is it always the government forcing me? If I had to like gun to my head, forcing me to do furryism, to be a furry, if I have to, if I must, then I hope that it's a killer. Now on to the Norbu. What? I don't know. I just, I remember when these guys came out and it was kind of like underwhelming. Like, I think we all thought we were going to love them. And then we we're like, hmm, but there are some cute Norbu colors that kind of redeem them. I don't know. I think that's a D tier Neopet. I think I'm allowed to put them in the D tier, right? You know, the thing with the Grawl is that like, I wanted to love them so much. I love theropods. I love dinosaurs. And I always like wanted to have like a Skeeth or a Grawl, like, in my in my party as if this is pokemon in my family in my neopets family to like eat my trash it's probably best that i don't have one because i'm an idiot and i would probably feed it like a important thing like people do but i just i feel like i was set up to love the grawl and i do love some of the grawl i love the fairy grawl that's a great color i love the um moroccan grawl the marble grawl is really cool because it's got like the fossils the tyranian grawl is actually really cute they've got like the little horn nose thing but that's kind of it baby. Like you aren't, I don't know. Yeah. I think that's like D tier Neopet. I'm sorry. C, D. Uh, hmm. Yeah. D is fine. Grundo. I love the Grundo so much. So the current Grundo is like, again with the fists, but the old Grundo, especially the Grundo that was like sitting there. Remember the Grundo that was sitting there? I love that Grundo. I love that Grundo. I loved the old Grundos. Like when, back when they didn't have the fists, basically back when they were just like a little guy, the plushy Grundo, love you, love you so much. The mallow Grundo, like I love Grundos. I really do. I've always loved Grundos. I have like several Grundo plushes cause I just love them so much. I really do love Grundos. I will put the Grundo, even though like I hate the fist thing, I will put them in B. That's a B tier pet. So as a snake bitch, I worked as a herpetologist for a while. I've kept snakes for a while. I have one snake now. Of course, I love the snake Neopet, of course. And I do remember vividly when the hissy first came out, how excited and happy I was to have a snake Neopet. And like one of my favorite characters is Leighton Vickles, the captain of Team Dargan. He's just, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty fine man. He's a Neopet. He's a fucking snake. Shut the fuck up. I love Leighton. 
Newton Vickles and I love Hissies and I think Hissies are easily, I think that's an A tier pet. I love Ixies too. They've never really been like my favorite, but I know everybody else loves them, but that's not to say that I don't like them. I just think that I don't like them that much. I don't know. Something about their face kind of pisses me off a little bit. They're like, I don't know. There's just some weird. It's like weird. Like stop looking at me like that. But at the same time, I really have always liked Ixies. Like I love the Ixy characters. I think they're adorable. I think they're so cute. There's a lot of cute Ixies. I love the Dargan Ixy. I love Ixies actually. I just, I kind of wish that I loved them more, I think is my thing. Sorry, I'm like looking up their colors because now I'm doing that. I've always loved the fairy Ixy, especially the UC fairy Ixy. That's a beautiful creature right there. But yeah, you know, they're not like, they're not like my favorite pet. I don't, I think I like them a lot less than everyone else does. I can do C tier for the Ixy. I don't like them that much. I mean, I don't like them as much as you do, you know? Jetsums are kind of the same. There's some really awesome Jetsum colors. Like I love the Moroccan Jetsum so much. And I've always loved, like sharks are like my favorite animal. So like I have to love them at least a little bit more than, than the average person. But I would say I like the Jetsum enough to put them in C tier, I guess. I don't know. Jub Jubs. Fuck you, dude. Like I like, I tried to like you. And you know what? Actually, I don't know. I like the baby Jub Jub so much. I think they're so cute. I used to have a baby Jub Jub. I don't even remember his name, but I love the baby Jub Jub. I think that's one of the cutest Neopets ever, honestly. And I feel like I'm forgetting, like, look at that little fuck. It's just like a little guy with legs. I love you for that. But then all the other Jub Jubs, like the way that they like massacred them, I don't like that. I don't really like that very much. I don't like how they they put their foot up and stuff. Like, get that foot out of my face. Get your foot out of my face. Like what? What? Like what are you doing with that? You know what? Yeah, D is fine. I'm not going to put you in in F. I like the Jub Jub about that much, I think. The cat cheek, you know, like everybody else loves them. I think, and I, I said this in the beginning, like I think that the cat cheek is like one of the like poster Neopet children, like truly one of the, the Neopets that you think about when you think about Neopets. And if I like needed to remind somebody about Neopets who was in a coma or something, why would I ever need to do that? Not sure, but I'm prepared if I do, cause I would show them a picture of like an Aisha and a cat cheek and be like, don't you remember Neopets? Like, come on, stay with me. I think I think I like cat cheeks enough to put them in C tier, but like what cat cheek would I even ever have? Like, I just personally have never really liked them. I think they're so boring. And then, ah, uh, the Moroccan cat cheek. <laughs> I forgot about them. I hate that. I hate that. Why, 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 why is that a thing? Actually, I kind of, I'm glad that I looked because I think I, I, I like the cat cheek a lot less than I thought I did. I think I'm gonna put them in D. That's how much I I found nothing of of note. Plushy cat cheeks kind of cute. I don't know. I just don't really like them that much. But they do remind me. They remind me of like old Neopets. Like I see the fairy cat cheek, and for some reason that's so nostalgic to me. Like something about that is like so old Neopets to me. Burlap cat cheeks kind of cute too, actually. That's kind of cute. As far as burlap pets go, because I fucking hate those burlap pets. They look like they're made of skin. I don't like it. But that's all I have to say about the cat cheek. I can move on now I think I think I'm allowed to move on now I love the cow I love the cow so much I think everybody loves the cow and I think rightfully so I feel like the cow didn't get as much love back in my day and then I came back to Neopets and everybody was obsessed with the cow and I was like yeah I saw that coming it's just a cow I mean I'm saying I love the cow that's a cow they're a cow I love them and I, all their colors are so cute yeah cows are a tier for sure the Kiko can go right here in F tier there's just nothing about them uh, that I care about. I hate them actually. I feel bad. Actually, I don't. Like, I I'm looking. Yeah, this is helping me to look. I hate it. I hate it all. I hate the burlap Kiko. I hate the fairy Kiko. I hate the desert Kiko. I hate the Darigan Kiko. The Moroccan Kiko is like kind of creative and cute and funny and cool, but when you remove the shell, it can be really scary. I hate the mutant Kiko. It's got like green shit all over its mouth. I hate the implications of that. I hate the pastel Kiko. I hate the plushy Kiko. I'm sorry for hating on your Kiko. The royal Kiko, hate. Where's like the Halloween Kiko? Yeah, that's like a pumpkin, but he's like in there. It's like hollowed out. I hate it. The only Kiko I like is the gray Kiko because he's like sad and crying. I'm just kidding. That's like so mean and dark to say actually. 
get help, Amanda. I love the koi. I've always loved the koi. Why does everybody hate the koi? Does anybody hate the koi? Is it like a hated pet? I love kois. I think they're cute and adorable, actually. But you know what? Actually, they're so boring. The fairy koi, like that's boring as hell, actually. I love the Moroccan koi. That's great. He's like a lionfish. But that's actually it. The Halloween koi, that's so boring. They suck, actually. The plushy koi, that sucks. The pirate koi sucks. They're so boring. Why are koi so boring? I love the spotted koi because he's like a he's like a koi. The koi, I think, is really boring but cute, but boring but cute. I think I'll put him in D. Listen, the Corbat. I want so badly to love the Corbat because I love bats. Bats are like one of my top favorite animals. I love all animals, but I especially love bats, but I hate the Corbat. Like what the fuck, dude? This is our bat. Really? Everything about the Corbat is just so dorky. I've always thought that. It's like a little dork guy. He's so dorky, kind of like the mutant Corbat because he's got the big ears. He looks like a long-eared bat or something. He's so cute. That's about it. Ah, oh, the stealthy Corbat. What the fuck? Get away from me. What is that? I want so badly to love the Corbat, but I I can't. I hate the Corbat, actually. The Kugra. I love Kugras. Kugras are an A tier Neopet. Always have been, always will be. They're, so, they're just so cute. There's so many colors that they look so cute in. I love Kugras. I mean, as far as just a Neopet goes, this is like a lion. It's like a tiger. It's like a big cat. He's so cute. He's like Simba. He's like baby Simba. I love him so much. I love Kugras. I love Crocs too. I've always loved Crocs. I think, and I love Crocs the shoes too, by the way. In addition to Crocs, the shoes and crocs and neopets i also love crocodilians i love the camo croc because it looks kind of like a caiman like i really do love the croc and i think that that's an a tier pet and i know a lot of people don't like them as much as i do even though the, they were also like the drake where they were one of those pets that was really hard to get back in the day but i love them i've always wanted one ever since i was little i thought they were so cute back when they were like they were like such a like girly pop little like icon. Do you remember that? I used to love that about them. And now of course they're like, another one bites the dust. So the Kyrie, I want to like them a lot. And in some ways I do, like I like the characters when they're Kyries. Kyries can be really attractive and beautiful and gorgeous as a furry. I'm saying that. They're also fucking putting up their dukes. They got their fists just out, <laughs> but there's just something about them. I think it's the hair. I don't know what it is where I just don't really like them. I don't know. I've just never really liked them. There are some that like my friends have and stuff that are customized really well. I like the Royal Kyries. I'm a person just like you, but that's actually it. I hate them all. Actually, I'm looking at them. Wait, no, I love the Halloween Kyrie. Actually, I love the Halloween Kyrie so much. I would even like think about having one, but that's it. That's all that they're giving. So I think I'm going to put the Kyrie in D tier. Sorry. Ugh, the Lenny. Like, ugh, I hate this pet. I've always hated this pet, but the mutant Lenny and the fairy Lenny, amazing, beautiful, gorgeous. And I think that's actually it. Ah, the burlap Lenny. No, get away from me. I really don't like Lennies that much, but the mutant and the fairy make it so that they don't, they are in the F tier. That's actually how much I hate them. Yeah. The loop, one of my favorites. Every color of the loop, every instance of loop, I love them all. They're perfect because they're just a fucking wolf. Like they're just a plain, simple wolf. Sometimes that's the best approach is just to keep it simple. Just give me a wolf, I guess. The Lutari is amazing. They were way better when they were like swimming and they were like an otter and they were swimming and now they're just like... <sighs> With that being said, I think that the Lutari is a B tier pet. You know, they've been being so creative lately with the Mirka. They've got like the toy Mirka and it's like the weasel ball. And I have so many memories with that fucking weasel ball from my childhood because it was such a 90s toy. Like you would walk by KB toys in the mall and they would have for some reason outside the toy store, they would have this like arena and then they would have all the weasel balls going in like the middle of the mall. Do you remember that? Like it was like right outside the KB toys. This is such a specific memory for like a specific part of the world that had KB toys in the mall, but they had like this outdoor arena and it would have the puppies that you would wind up and they would go, murr, 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 
and they'd like hop around and then they would have the um the, the weasel balls going it around in there and it would be like look we got toys that move kids come on in <laughs> and that's where I would get all my Pokemon cards was KB toys like I just will never forget going in there and getting my first Pokemon pack it was the jungle pack that was the first Pokemon pack I ever got and there was a weasel ball just <laughs> like outside I love that weasel ball I will always love that weasel ball and they made the toy Mirka a weasel ball and then there was another Mirka that they did I think it's the candy Mirka and it's like the little thing like you know that like sour like rope candy thing that you like eat <laughs> like you do with candy but other than that I actually hate this Neopet I just don't really like them that much I think that they're enough for like a like a D tier I guess the Mohawk oh. see this is hard for me because like one of my favorite Neopets in my family is a Mohawk it's he's a mutant Mohawk which theoretically should be the ugliest of the Mohawks but I think he's the most beautiful of the Mohawks and I actually fucking hate all the other Mohawks actually I really hate them. I think that they're so ugly. I hate them. And I know everybody else hates them too. And I feel really bad saying that, but I want you to know that I tried my best and that I am such a good person that I actually love the mutant mohog the most. But I, yeah, I'm looking right now and there's like no other mohog that I'm willing to even like help if they need help. I think they're an F tier, but like, ugh, it's so weird doing that because my f my second favorite Neopet that I have is Pickle, the mutant Mohog. It's hard for me to, ugh, it's like I can't, like I, because of Pickle, I have to put him in D. The Mincy, like what are we going to do with you? Put you in F tier? The thing with the Mincy too is like, so yeah, I love, I love monkeys. I love primates, but I hate the Mincy. But when I was a little kid, my first ever like, like good painted pet was actually a baby Mincy that I found in the pound. Her name was Banana33901. I will never forget her name. I found her in the pound and I always wanted a baby pet. And like for the longest time, I just didn't have the money when I was really, really young to have a baby pet. So like I loved her. And even when I started like years later, when I made enough money to paint like a baby loop and all that stuff, I still kept B Banana because I loved her so much. And she just marked like, I will never forget the day that I saw her in the pound. I was like, <gasps> I got a baby pet. I was so happy. And I like learned how to draw her and stuff. And the old baby Mincy like was so cute with her little pajamas and stuff. I just can't, for some reason, there's just something weird about the Mincy and I just don't like them. I don't like any Mincy's, I don't think. And of course the Mincy's gotta be knocked up. The Nemo. There are a few Nemo's that are cute. The baby Nemo is awesome. I love the toy. The new toy Nemo that they put out was awesome. And I think that's it. The Nemo just gives me like a ba bad vibe. Frog are one of my favorite animals. That's like an animal that I've worked with so extensively. I love frogs, but I don't know about the Nemo. I think because they just remind me of like that weird, tall, lanky guy. That's like a, you know, like when you're a teenager and you just find yourself in some weird room buying, um, Never mind. I just think it's just like tall and lanky and they're like, what's up, dude? Good vibes only. But it's like, I'm not getting any good vibes from you though. I, yeah, I'll just keep them there. Even though there are a few Nemos that I do like, I am gonna keep them there. The Ogren, I don't think there's any Ogrens that I like. Uh I hope you know, I hope you know that this has nothing to do with you. I feel so bad saying that because the Ogren is uh, allegedly based on the Okapi, which is one of my favorite animals. Actually, the baby the baby Ogren is all right. That's actually totally it. Absolutely love the Piofen. I think that's a solid B Neopet. I mean, it's a mermaid horse. What more could you want? You know who else I love more than anything is the Poogle. I have always loved them ever since I was a little kid. I love the Poogle races. I thought they were so cute, like racing in the poogle races. And so I've always loved them ever since then. I've always wanted a poogle when I was little. They were like a limited edition pet, but I wanted one. And then I always loved the MSP poogles. I recently found out that not everybody feels the same way as me about poogles, but I think that they are amazing. In fact, they're at least an A tier pet. I might even, you know what? I fucking love the poogle. I'm putting them in S tier. That's how crazy I am. I, that's one of my favorite Neopets. I love the Poogle. I love them so much. Raise your hand if you called them Pateris when you were little and didn't know how to read. I don't really like the Terry very much. I just never have, and I don't think I ever will, but the UC Fairy Terry 
one of the most beautiful creatures to ever walk the earth. And I have to I have to give them credit where credit is due. The Quiggle. Listen, I want to love the Quiggle so bad. I love frogs. And there are some Quiggles that are cute. I love, I mean, I have a Quiggle. I have a baby Quiggle that I love so much. And listen, I really like the Moroccan Quiggle too, because he's like a toad. And I want one so bad, but they need to roll stuff out that we can customize this fucking toad with because not even any of the Moroccan clothes fit on the Moroccan quiggle for some reason. He's like that weird. I love him, don't get me wrong, but I want to be able to customize him a little bit. I don't want just this like random naked man toad just hunching in my neo home. I need to be able to put like a shirt on this guy. I don't know. The quiggle, uh, you know, there's only like a couple of quiggles that I like. I think I'll just put him in D for now. Listen, the rookie. I know that he's based on like a mantis and I love mantises. They're my favorite, favorite bugs, but I don't like the, the rookie. You know, his raptorial arms would be so much cooler if he wasn't making a fucking fist with them. I'm telling ya. Fairy rookie is really beautiful and looks like an orchid mantis, which is really cool. And I really actually do like the mutant rookie. They're pretty cute, but that's it actually. Oh, the polka dot rookie is kind of cute because she looks like a little ladybug. That's it. That's all I can say about the rookie. I think in general, the F tier is fine. I actually, I actually really hate the Scorchio a lot. I hate his f fucking fists. I hate his face. I think his face is like taunting me. They remind me of like um, Dragon Tails in a bad way. Like specifically the big blue dragon from Dragon Tails. I always hated him so much. I hated that dragon. It was so annoying. I don't like Scorchios. He's just got big dumb feet. I don't like them. As far as dragons that I do like though, I will always love the Shoiru. I think we all will. I think the Shoiru is easily an A tier pet, if not even higher, but just for me personally, I know that the Shoiru is one of the first pets I ever created. I love Shoirus. They're so cute. And they, they come in so many great colors too. Like almost all of the Shoiru colors are awesome. I don't think there's a single Shoiru color. Ugh, the 8-bit Shoiru. Get away from me. I don't like him. That's it. That's one. That's one of the colors that I don't like. Listen, the Skeeth. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? I feel like I've tried so hard to love the Skeeth. And you know what? I love the you see mutant skeeth because he looks kind of like a toad or like a horned lizard or something and i love that he's really cute that's it that's all i have to say and he's over here like with his fists and it pisses me off. The Teco, there's just one color in terms of the Teco that I love and it's the Woodland Teco because he looks like a Europlatus gecko, but that's not enough to save you from the D tier because they're not the worst. I mean, I love a lizard, I love a gecko, um, but I think that I don't like you that much actually. I hate the Tonu, I'm so sorry. I love rhinos, but like the Tonu, like you're just, you're just not cute. I don't know, I just don't like them. I don't really have to explain myself. I think I just hate them. The candy Tonu is really cute, actually. But that's it. Like, that's it, actually. Like, the, the elderly Tonu is like, why is that a knight? It scares me. The Tonu just keeps missing. They just miss the mark. Oh, the Tyranian Tonu is kind of cute. That's it. That's all I have to say about the Tonu. I just don't care. Is there a mutant Tonu? <gasps> oh, yes, there is. And it's not... It's ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. Listen, I love the Tuscaninny, but like not enough to save you from the C tier. But I love the spotted Tuscaninny so much because he's like a little harbor seal and I love him so much. I love, I love pinnipeds. I love a good seal. But the hair thing and just the face, like some something about it just kind of throws it off for me so that you're only a C tier. But I, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, what you're bringing to the seal community. I've always loved the unis as a horse girl. That's an A tier pet. The fairy uni sucks though, right? Like out of everything, you had the chance to have a fairy horse and you did that? Come on. Why would you do that? Still to this day, I'm baffled by that. Usul, that is an S tier. I love Usuls so much. I'm so glad that I came to appreciate them for what they are. Like just the most beautiful pet inside and out. They're amazing to customize. They're so fun to customize. You can customize them in so many different ways. They're amazing as like plot characters. Hannah, my girl, just like the best girl. I moved this up a little bit. Sorry. Love. I love Usuls. That's one of my favorite Neopets and I will stand by that and ride for them to the, to the death. The Vantagire took me a long time to warm up to. It did. But once I saw that Furby, I am a proud Furby mom. I love my Furbies.
Yeah, Vandegars actually are awesome and you're wrong if you hate them. I think they're great. I love them. I think that's a B tier pet at least. I love walkies too. There's a couple walkies that are amazing. Obviously the plushy walkie and the Dargan walkie are two standouts. I've never been crazy about them. I think they're a solid B tier pet as well because when they slay, they slay so hard. They really do. I've always loved Zweetox. I think Zweetox are also a solid B tier pet. The Yerbal. Absolutely, I hate this motherfucker. Sorry, I just do. I just think that there's just never been anything regarding him that I care about. Like, what is a Yerbal? What even is that? And I remember when they rolled them out too, they just did. They were just like, here you go, here's another Neopet. And we were like, okay. This is a Fara. I've always wanted to like them. I think it's the tail. I think they're a solid C tier because there are some cute Zafara colors and they're fun to customize, but the tail throws me off every time. There's just something about, about it that I don't like. I think they're probably good in C tier. And that's it. That's all the Neopets. So now you know how I feel about all the Neopets because you asked. I don't know. I am tired. I need to go to bed. Thanks again to Atlas for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link in my description if you want to check out Persona 5 Tactica for yourself and tell me how much you love it. Uh -huh.